There are two camps when you make a grilled cheese sandwich. One is you use butter on the exterior of your sandwich or you use mayonnaise. Which one are you? I'm going to talk about that a little bit today and we're also going to have a couple of guests. I have my two and a half year old great niece Collins and her mother Michelle joining me today to help me make these sandwiches and we're going to be making three sandwiches. We're going to be making more of a traditional one with some cheddar cheese and bacon. Collins I think likes that and I'm going to do another one with some ham and some Swiss with Gruyere cheese and some caramelized onion that is very savory and the last one is going to be more of a caprese style sandwich with some homegrown tomatoes and some basil. I'm Rockin' Robin and we're going to go over all of this right after our chef joke. What do you call a grilled cheese sandwich that gets right up into your face? Too close for comfort food. So here's my special guest today. I have my great niece. She's two and a half. This is Collins and her mom, Michelle. Say hi. Can you say hi? Say hi. Collins, say hi. over there. Hi. Can you say hi? Collins. So like I said, we're going to be making three grilled cheese sandwiches today and Collins is going to help us make them and put them together, right? <laughs> yeah, you're a good cook, you're right? Cook? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I did want to talk about our ingredients just a little bit. We have caramelized onions for our forest uh, ham sandwich. And so what you want to do there is just take a large onion and slice it thinly, put it on the stove. We'll put it in the big frying pan with some olive oil and we're going to cook it slow and low for about 45 minutes. And you can see here how it's reduced down to just a small amount and uh, they are just very savory that way. All right, so then we have our forest ham over here. We have some Swiss cheese to go with that. And we're also going to add some Gruyere, which Michelle is probably going to grate over the top. And Collins is going to help also with a cheddar cheese. We have our cheddar cheese right here and some bacon. And we're going to layer that up and make a delicious sandwich. OK, so for my sandwich, I'm using gluten free bread here. And we're going to be using my mozzarella balls with a little bit of Monterey Jack along with uh, some fresh tomatoes out of the garden and some fresh basil. All right, so Michelle, did you know that there are two camps as far as making grilled cheese sandwiches? Some people use butter on the outside of their sandwich and some people use mayonnaise. I did know that, yes. And so some people are like all butter or all mayo. They, did, they don't like, you know, the other one. So I tried it and I tried it with avocado mayo. Okay. And I found it so uninteresting and just so like not good. Mm. The way to go is with butter all the I way. Agree. <laughs> you agree? Yes. I think Collins will agree too. So that's what I do. And no, the reason, you know what they say? The reason is, is because the, the avocado oil has a higher smoke point. Mm -hmm. So they say, well, you're less likely to burn your sandwich. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem burning my sandwich. How about you, Collins? <laughs> <laughs> the butter just has so much more flavor. Yes, we love butter. Yes, we do. So I'll show you how to cook it so that, you know, you don't burn it nice and slow, a little bit slower, but it'll turn out nice and crispy and that cheese on the inside will be melted. That's what you got to have. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. All right, Collins, let's start with the cheddar cheese and the bacon sandwich first. Okay, you ready? Okay, here's some cheese. Can you put it on the bread? Yeah. Here, put your cheese on the bread. Perfect Good job. And then we'll do some bacon. Here, can you break the bacon in half? Yeah, tear it. Perfect. That's perfect. Awesome. Didn't even need to tear. Here, you want to put the other piece down there? Yeah, I mm -hmm. think we need a little more, huh? Yes, we definitely yeah. need more. Okay, do it again. Good oh, job. Yeah. Okay, put, put it, it on there. the sandwich. Nice. And then let's mm -hmm. put another piece of cheese on top so it can be nice and cheesy. Okay, Mom will hand it to you. Here you go. Yeah, you got, got pockets. Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> pockets in your apron. All right. <laughs> okay. You want to put the second piece of cheese on? Collins, let's put that on put your sandwich. On put it on your bacon. Put it right on top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. That's it. Good job. All right. I thought it was going to go right into the mouth. <laughs> okay. Now we have to put it together. That's how mom makes it. Okay, so we want to put that on the plate. Okay, ready now to go. Now we're going to work on our second sandwich. Collins, we need to have you put some cheese on, uh, here. on our bread here. We're making a, cheese on this bread. a ham and cheese 
grilled cheese. You don't have to break it up. Here, no, just, just put the whole piece. Oh, well, yeah, she, <laughs> she thinks it's She's better. It's going to taste better right. when she puts, it, Faster you know, to melt, right? That's right. Smaller pieces, easier to melt. There you go. Making a nice pile. Okay, and then we're going to go with some ham. That's a bit more. A bit more. Okay, this one, let's just roll it up like this. Put it like this. All right, should we put it in half? And then we'll put it on your sandwich like that. Okay? All right? And you got that one? Put, you want to put that one on? Piece. We better put two pieces on there. There you go. And put your ham on there. Okay. Can you put it on top of the ham? <laughs> you can put it there too, sure. No problem. You're doing such a good job. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a great sandwich. Mommy's going to hold this, and you get to hold this. And so what you're going to do is put it on top and then slide it. And see how the cheese comes out the bottom? Okay, go for it. Here, you, you hold the you cheese. You do this part. Mommy will hold the red handle. There you go. You want to hold that part? Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna put some onions on top. Okay, can you put some of this on top? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so good. That's it, right on top. Oh boy, Ooh, look, look at, at that. that. Maybe a little more? A little bit more. Okay. Oh, that looks Perfect. good. Ooh. Okay, Collins, can you put this bread on top? Put this bread on top of this. There you go. Perfect. Yay. All right, Collins. You did it. Good job. All right, now we're gonna do my sandwich. Okay, can you sprinkle some of this on there for me? Yeah. Yeah. There we that's go. Nice good. big. That's apple. good. <laughs> good. And then just spread. Yeah, that's perfect. And then can you put little, this is little mozzarella balls. Can you put some of this on there too? More. Yeah, it needs more. Get the yeah, mozzarella. Right, here, right there. Put that on there. Oh, mozzarella's good. Here's some more. I spread them around. That's a girl. All right. And then we're going to put some, you know what this is? What's this? Is this? Tomato? Yeah. Yeah. Put a tomato on there for me. Perfect. Ooh, nice. Now we need some basil. Yeah. Can you tear that up for me and put little pieces like that on it? Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. You do that. We'll put it right on top. Perfect. Fresh Good job. Yeah, we need some more. I like lots of basil. Beautiful. Look at you. <laughs> Chef in training. Absolutely. <laughs> Start them young. Put our lid on. Put it right on top. All right. Yum. Good job. Oh, way to press down, girl. All right. Now we're going to take these away, and we're going to go cook them. Okay. Okay, and then when we come back, you get to taste them. So here's what we're going to do. And we're using butter, by the way. Yes. So we're going to put our pan on low. Because with butter, we, gotta, we don't want it too high or we're going to be in trouble. Now I'm going to cook two sandwiches over here. So I'm going to put the butter right in here. So you put it in the pan, not on the butter. Well, you can go either way. Okay, same. Either, works either. out the same. It does. Okay. That's cool. I always wonder about that. Yeah. Certainly the pan is It's easier. a good question. And, and then we're going we're gonna to place this. Well, come on. We'll let this melt a little bit. <laughs> You're going to help? Yeah, she's okay. going to help. Here. You're going to hand it? Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Good, Good job. I love this helper. This is the best <laughs> assistant I've ever had. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I'm not going to put butter on top yet because I'm going to use a lid, and I don't want it to stick to the lid, so. Got a golden brown on this one. Oh, we got to get our butter. Forgot the butter. Can't do that. We're going to put butter on, Collins, before we flip them. Okay, so I have my butter sitting out. I'm using Kerrygold butter, by the way. Mm, our favorite. Yes. I like to get the butter all over if I can. I'm gonna put the lid back on it, and I've got the heat to low now. So I'm gonna butter up my Caprese grilled cheese and flip it over. And here's Collins, waiting patiently, checking out the cabinets. 
Our grilled cheeses are done. Everything looks good, nice and golden. Time to serve them up. I'm gonna spring a chef joke on Michelle. Watch this. All right, before we cut into our grilled cheese sandwiches, okay. Michelle, what do you put on a lonely grilled cheese sandwich? Miracle Whip. <laughs> provolone. Oh, provolone. <laughs> <laughs> Just another little chef joke I decided to sneak in on you. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's get our sandwiches. Let's do the bacon one first yep. for Collins, and she can cut into that. Okay, let's turn the knife over. <laughs> What a good sawer you are. Look at that. Excellent. She's awesome. And she's good at that. All right. I missed a little bit on the top there. Be careful. <laughs> Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Probably want to let that cool a little bit before she takes a bite, right? Okay. You ready for the next one? Here, let's cut this one. Okay, let's put this over here. Here, use your hand. Hold it with your hand. Okay. And then remember, press down. Oh, yeah, I gotta cut through that ham. There we go, you did it. Okay. Ooh. I cut through mine. Thank you. I think it's time to take a taste. Do you wanna take a taste? No. No? Did you get our ham and onion? <laughs> not, not happening, okay. She's, Are you full? She's still? finished. I think she's full. She did her job and she is good to go. <laughs> you had a good pre cooked snack. All right. <laughs> Michelle, I think you should take a taste of each one and yeah. let's, let's see how these are. The um, caramelized onions mm. are really good. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet, you know? Mm -hmm. Give it a nice tang. Here's a napkin for you. Mm, thank you. Yes. Mine is delicious, the caprese with the, with the homemade, homemade, homegrown tomatoes. They are so delicious. You gotta, I mean, mm. if you have those in your, in your garden, you gotta try the sandwich. And the basil makes it nice and fresh tasting. The bacon and cheddar is really good. I think the cheese, was it like a, me a medium or a sharp? I think it was, yeah. Okay. Is yeah, that a little too strong? Really, no, I like it that, I like it sharp. Okay, it good. It has really good flavor and the bacon good. also is very flavorful. <laughs> and the nice buttery, crispy bread. Thank you guys for, for doing this. Thank you. Michelle and Collins are gonna be moving out of state, so I really wanted to get this video shot with her. She's so adorable. That's the bathroom upstairs. No, 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 baby cook. Yeah, baby cook. I burned one so bad once that it left a permanent bread mark on my pan. <laughs> no, it's not a fly swatter, goofy ball. <laughs> kind of looks like one in your, in your defense. Yes, cheese. You got cheese? Mommy. Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, mommy dropped it. You did so good. Thank you so much. Why? If you like grilled sandwiches, I've got one for you that you really must try. It's my grilled tuna melt. And I'm gonna leave a link for you right over here. Go ahead and click that and check that out. It's a very popular video and it is so tasty. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and leave me a comment and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.